Yo, this is Clawburn 9057 and Clawburn Whoops, and welcome to another food review. I said it right this time. And this time, we're going to be doing the steak garlic sandwich by Arby's. And um, if you guys don't know, they're doing a special promotion with the steak garlic. Um, it's, I, I really don't know. It's $7. It's, it has steak, has garlic, and I saw alioli alioli and uh i'm sorry if i butchered that for anybody any alioli enthusiast or garlic enthusiast but and including the wario because wario loves garlic but it it's fine it's fine you know in my opinion it's fine um so i wanted to go ahead and give you guys something because i haven't did an unboxing or food review in quite a while in about three months and uh i was actually supposed to Put out 2020's Christmas special a while ago, and uh, I didn't do that one. Or the 2021's Christmas special 2021 20, is kind of like I keep forgetting because that year doesn't exist. 2021's Christmas special I didn't put that one out either, and I had a lot of good stuff to uh to say about that one. And 2022's Christmas special, which I. I was supposed to do that a while ago as well. So, hopefully, I stop being lazy and playing Vidya. Because, I'm quite frank, some people actually like watching these videos of me being stupid and just putting out random reviews. But, enough about that. We're here to review the garlic steak. And I'm going to, this is, this is more of a quick review for the Arby's enthusiasts that saw this and was like, Well, this might look alright looked look all right and quite frankly it did look all right for seven bucks it better be worth seven bucks um i didn't get the combo you might see a little grease stain right there but that's from uh you know the french and fryer the french and fryer as i like to call it and uh yeah so first off we got this beautiful temporal packaging that Looks like it's straight from the Krusty Krab. And my all-time favorite, Hexamagons. Now, if you don't know what Hexamagons are, these things, these bad boys were around when I was like 14. And I was eating uh, KFC's Hexamagons. If you remember that chicken sandwich that I never reviewed, or, or just remember KFC's chicken sandwiches, those things always had these little packages, and they tasted... Phenomenal. I don't know why they stopped doing those at KFC's, but they were delicious. And I guess we don't get them no more because they were too delicious and people became ravenous. Speaking of delicious, I had some Popeyes earlier today. I know I'm a fat, fat bastard, but I had some Popeyes and that chicken is, is getting its quality, I swear. But that's besides the point. This is my dinner. So, uh, First off, the packaging, I like. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Now, I'm going to do like a 2 point or 2 rating of, uh, you know, out, you know, the packaging, how it looks, and I'm just going to combine that together. So, right now, it's a 7 out of 10, and then I'm going to do the food rating, which will be, uh, you know, the 15 point rating. I'm not going to do a, a, a huge rating system for the other thing um, this time around. You know, the price is 7 bucks. Uh, take it or leave it. Next time I'll do a rating system for that, but not this time. It's going to be seven dollars so far. And um, one thing to note, I love how they put the. Uh, it's called TK, like Earthbound. Like look at that, look at that. That's like a. That's a U. That's a sim. That's a um. What's this? That. This mark. That this mark. You know, if you know what that mark is, that's an S. Apparently, that's an S. So, it's uh like TK Thunder. STK Thunder. Whatever. But, um, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that it means steak. Now, you might think that I'm stupid for thinking it's steak, but that, that probably is steak. So, that's a that's a great, great thing. So, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. All right look at that. Look at this. Freshly cooked. Seven, seven dollar freshly cooked, and um, now getting into presentation, I like the uh, the cross bun right there. This kind of looks like a, a smush Sasquatch sandwich, 
Also, if you look, that looks like bacon, even though it's not bacon. Um, and look at that. It has the, um, the onion rings on it. I didn't expect that. And I think that's mushrooms and the garlic somewhere, but that looks just smashed together. Um, so I'd have to give this like a six. I actually thought it was going to be a little bit bigger, but this is how it looks. This is $7, apparently. Um, if it's anything like how the burgers taste... And it should be delicious. So let's see and go ahead and taste it so that you guys um, see if this is worth the seven bucks or not. Already, um, you smell that. It smells. Mm, it actually smells delicious. So I'm thinking this is about to be a, a winner. So uh, I know you guys don't want to hear horse mouth smacks. So I'm going to pause the video and jump cut it in three, two. All right. I did take a bite, as you can see, that little, that beautiful roundabout bite with the teeth that are so great, and um, I got some things to say about it. Uh, first off, if you're expecting like a gourmet type of burger, a burger or a roast beef sandwich or something that's like um, some Gordon Ramsay crap, this ain't it. This is not it. This ain't no beef Wellington as... Um, or this is, is it lamb? This is I. It's I. And the, the sad part is, it doesn't, it doesn't taste too bad. It tastes pretty good. I can taste a little hints of the garlic. Taste a little bit of the, um, the onion. But, uh, it ain't, it ain't hitting. It ain't hitting as good as what I thought. Now, I also had a spicy, uh, beef sandwich. From the two, the two for uh seven, which I'm probably gonna go back and get again because that those the two for seven are great. I'm probably gonna get the French dip and um the fish, I'll probably spicy another one and ask for French dip. But um those things hit, those things hit like a mug, and when I say like a mug, I mean they hit different. But um this ain't hitting. This feels like it could have used like some sauce, like some horseradish or some. Some sort of that that French dip, and even the French dip ain't ain't that uh good. Um, I'll get into a review one one of these days, but nah, nah, this isn't this isn't um this ain't hitting that seven dollar mark for me. I'd say five bucks, but not seven dollars for this. Um, maybe I take another little bite so that I don't you know jip you on if it tastes good or not, and not because I'm hungry. So yeah, give me like three, two. One. Oh, uh, that's two Mississippi. Now that's that looks like a W bite mark. I have not changed my mind on this. I think they gave too little garlic. The garlic itself is not overbearing, but it's like it's like it's not complete there. Don't get me wrong. I can I can talk talk about this and um barely taste any garlic, and that's the sad part. Mmm. Mmm. It's like I, I can't taste it at all. And it's weird. Cause it's like the sandwich tastes I can taste the, the um the beef and everything, but I just can't taste that garlic. Um otherwise the the, the onions taste I alright. It doesn't have it's like the flavor's not there. That's the problem with it. It just tastes meh. It tastes alright. Would I get it again? Probably not. I'd probably get the two for seven. Um, if, if I'm just going and seeing what things taste like, um, sure, for the for, for the most part, I'd say I'd give this straight up around an eight out of 15. I'm, I'm not going to give it a high high price margin um, because it, it's not like 10 bucks for a sandwich, but at the end of the day, it'll fill you up. It ain't too bad but at the same time you can do a lot better uh maybe maybe they need the garlic the top bun a little bit more or something because it's just not pushing it it's not pushing out that flavor that i was expecting like I, i'm expecting you know um delicious flavoring a little bit of crisp to it on the the rings itself and i'm just not i'm not getting it and it's it's sad so seven plus seven that's 14 so we get a total of 14 out of 25. So that ain't that bad. But yeah, 
Now, as for me recommending this, like I said, don't get it if you're just not looking for something new. Um, if you, if anything, just go ahead and do the two for uh, two for seven. You'll have a better time. Plus, you get the crispy fish. The crispy fish is very very good like that, that that's way more worth it and if you're looking for a little bit of spice do not try to do this uh the two for seven they have the uh i know i, I sound like an appetizer but the two for seven they have that like spice spicy uh beef sandwich and that one when i ate that one that one was phenomenal uh my mom absolutely just loves to fish and um the french dip even the french dip has the dip so you can't go wrong with the dip <laughs> in other words not dip out of 25 so yep this has been another review by cloud burn whoops i ain't throwing this away because i spent money on it and if you spend money on something don't waste it so cloud burn out thanks for watching uh next video will probably be fire emblem or maybe it'll be uh the 2020 videos that i was supposed to release anyway cloud burn out go uh go get the two for for seven I recommend the fish or the uh, dip. Honestly, the fish is better. Um, and that uh, spicy thing. If you don't like spicy, do the dip in the fish. Or the gyro, which I never review for some reason. Clever now.